what is going on guys and welcome back to the next iteration in this davinci resolve tutorial today we're going to be actually getting into something called fusion compositions now that we have actually got our feet wet inside the fusion page and i'm going to really start explaining to you guys what a fusion composition is and it's going to be really really helpful for you to get a good grasp on this before we actually start digging into complex fusion stuff okay so this is kind of the building block so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the software so here we are in fusion and you can actually see right now there is a fusion composition right here on my timeline in the edit page as you can see okay so what i want us to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this fusion composition and we are going to completely backspace it and clear it out okay all right so once you guys have cleared that out uh what we're going to do is we're going to jump right over into the fusion page okay by clicking at the wand and you guys should have a screen something similar to this and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can see our media pool okay so first off before we jump into too much uh, conceptual pieces let me kind of break something down to you guys so if you go over to edit page again you see how our timeline here is empty okay you guys see that so we're going to create something called a fusion composition and a lot of people have a lot of misunderstandings on you know or confusion on a fusion composition versus a compound clip and so i made a video about what a compound clip is but in short it's just a bunch of clips that are merged into one whereas a fusion composition is a fusion comp composition <laughs> literally a fusion comp or a collection of node tree structures in a single clip okay so it's not multiple clips in a clip or merged together but instead it's a lot more than that it's a lot of fusion stuff merged into one so that's going to make a lot of sense when we jump into this here so let's go ahead and look at the software again now let me show you guys a demonstration of that okay so right now i'm not going to even bring in a clip like normally you know you, you have a video you'd bring in a clip like this right and you have your timeline and you know y'all have all the stuff right yada yada okay well a fusion composition is a little different than that so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to fusion right here and we're going to actually bring in our clip okay from the media pool into our nodes tree area okay now you can actually see that it already created a media in and a media out now as we learned in our last video we know let's go ahead and rename this make this easier for ourselves video clip right that's our video clip and then we're going to say this is like to the screen to screen right that's our output to the screen okay so this here is going right out to the screen and that's why we see it right here in the top right corner now this is where it gets really really interesting okay let's go ahead and jump over to our edit page notice what happened when we brought in a media clip into our fusion page and sent it out to the screen we're going to click on our edit page and voila there we have it what what is this a fusion composition how did that happen well as i mentioned a fusion composition is a collection of nodes in a single clip so since we brought in technically we generated two nodes right in fusion if you look back here in the software if you go to fusion page down here okay we actually brought in two two nodes we brought in a video clip and it automatically created an output to put it onto the screen so when we go to our edit page that now technically becomes something called a fusion composition because it is a collection of nodes and everything you do for the duration of this clip on your timeline it's going to you know trigger all those nodes if this clip goes on longer and the clip is not long enough watch what happens to the clip so the clip will come to an end right the clip will come to an end but look at that it's going to continue on it's going to still keep going because there might be other clips going on in your fusion composition so you see how it takes up all this space in our timeline but it can go on far beyond the duration of the clip that you have in here or the multiple clips you can have multiple clips in here right you have a lot of them in this fusion composition um but a compound clip won't let you extend this any farther than the length of all the clips or the longest clip i should say in the compound clip okay so I know that's a lot to kind of wrap your head around. I just said a ton of stuff. But for those of you that really understand compound clips and merging them together, and you guys know what I'm talking about, where you try to drag this, right? You've been in those shoes before. I know you've been there. Where you try to drag this, it's like, ah, 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 I can't move it. Why, why can't I move it any farther? And then you got to go in and open that compound clip um, and figure out what, 
why the clip is too short well that doesn't apply in a fusion composition because fusion composition has a lot of other things in there related to fusion it's not looking at just the clips it's looking at all the fusion stuff inside that composite okay all right cool so let's go ahead and backspace this out and since we deleted it guess what if we go to our fusion page right now we're back to an empty slate so let's go ahead and bring in our clip again let's go ahead and rename it you guys can go ahead and click on video clip we're going to take our media out just give us some space here we're going to hit rename video uh, or just call this to screen all right now if we go back to our edit page again voila we have our fusion composition okay you guys see that and if we go back to our fusion page here if we add some really complex stuff we'll get into this in our next video but let's just say i threw in a merge over here and threw on some text right and I don't know why I just did that it was trying to be smart but anyway uh, we're gonna connect that into here and then I'm gonna say you know learning about fusion comps now you can see that all three of these things as you can see all of this is if you go to our edit page you can see that all that is inside our fusion comp right you guys can see that okay so now if I play my video as you can see it is going to be done once it is done on this composition so if you like make this last a lot longer okay it actually ends at the length of the clip as you guys can see okay so pretty pretty neat but you can extend this composition farther out than the duration of the video and that's one of the major differences with fusion compositions versus compound clips and yeah that is pretty much um fusion composition in a nutshell okay so i hope that you guys found that useful that is a big thing that a lot of people struggle with learning but i figured i'll go ahead and get that one and knock that one out just so that you guys can understand what we're going to be doing in the future with fusion okay so i hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful evening and a wonderful year and we'll catch you guys in the next video take care